Happy Tuesday, happy Tuesday. Dodge Charger and a Ram 3500. I had to do it, I had to do it. I didn't show any loading of the two cars, you guys. Lexi and I went and picked them up. It was fast. It's not the greatest money. It'll be just under $2 a mile, but it was fast. One pick and it'll be one drop. It's going to a dealership about 60 miles from here. Yeah. And uh, we're gonna drop these off really quick and then we have a really exciting load to pick up that I've been planning for since last week. I'm very excited. I'm gonna go hopefully pick it up. <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> I got another crazy Natalie load. So let's go offload these. I didn't, I didn't record any of loading these. You guys have seen me load cars. You've seen it once. You've seen it a thousand times. I'm just like, there's nothing special about these two cars to show you guys. So I just loaded them up quick and got out of town. So uh, Chella and I are here in Northern California. We're about 50, 60 miles from the drop of these two going to a dealership here in Northern California. We're going to drop them off and then we're going to drive about 60 miles away and pick up the cool load. So I will show you guys all of that. He's trying to crank it started. Oh, that's not a good sign. Okay. All right, let's see what we can do here. That's the easy one. That's the hard one.
the deck of the trailer. I couldn't record it because it's 119 degrees, y'all, in Tucson, and my phone overheated. Equipment's on fire. <laughs> I had to put my, uh, whew, I had to put my phone, 119, Chela. Yep. I had to put my phone in the truck in the AC because it overheated. Anyways, on to the next one. 15 miles away, we're picking up a Explorer or a Ranger. I think it's an Explorer first, and then we're gonna go pick up a Ranger, so. I'll show you guys that in a little bit. It's not been a full week, but anyways, we've got a 2018 Explorer picked up from the dealership and a 2019 Ranch Ranger, sorry, 2019 Ranger picked up from private rev residence here. We're just finishing strapping it down so we can get out of here. It's about 114 degrees in Phoenix right now. It's hot. Okay, so this week, Chella and I intentionally hauled cars only. I did this so we could do this video for you guys. On Monday, I loaded two vehicles. It was one pickup, one pick, one drop. I picked up two vehicles here in Southern California that were going to Northern California. The broker would not budge. He had them both posted at $900 together and he would not budge. I asked for 950, I asked for 925. I left the loads on the table. I came back to him, I called him back. I said, all right, give me the damn loads because I, I needed to get up to Northern California and I didn't want to spend all day on Monday getting loaded to do it. So it was easy for me, $900 bill, again, SoCal to NorCal. That was Monday. If you want to consider it a work day, you can, but literally I drove 40 miles from my house, picked up two cars in one spot and drove 40 miles back and shut it down. On Tuesday, I left my house very early in the morning and drove up to Northern California, about 500 miles. Got up there, Chella and I unloaded these two vehicles. They went to the same dealership and we drove about 100 miles. We drove about 100 miles down the road or less and loaded the 1920s tractor and the 1920s truck that I had booked. That was a load I had booked last week and I, was, I needed to get up to Northern California in order to pick up this load. That load paid $1,800. It went from Northern California to Tucson, Arizona. 
I did have space available on the trailer, but get, get down the road and get done with it. I did not have enough space for another vehicle. I did have a space for maybe a small partial, but I wasn't trying to look for one in this, in this case, in this week. Now, so Tuesday we unloaded and reloaded. Wednesday we drove. Thursday we drove. And Thursday we, mid-morning, Thursday we unloaded the tractor and the truck and we reloaded. In one vehicle came out of Tucson and the other one came out of Phoenix. Those two vehicles were different brokers, different loads. One paid $400, the other one paid $360. So combined, they paid $760. Thursday, we drove back to Southern California. Friday, if you wanna consider it a work day, you can. I left my house, we unloaded the two vehicles in different, in different locations, and it only took within 100 miles, and I got home. So again, Monday was about a four hour or less work day and Friday was about a four hour or less work day. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday were full work days. So I consider that a four day work week, two half days and three full days. However you want to work the numbers, however you see it in your head, that's fine too. Now, the money. Those loads for all of last week that you just saw, Chella and I unload and reload and unload and reload. Those vehicles totaled $3,460 gross revenue. However, I clocked my miles from the point that I loaded the first vehicle, all the miles until I unloaded the last vehicle was 2,136 miles. If we divide the gross revenue by the amount of miles, that comes out to $1.62 per mile. Two cars. You guys know me, you know the type of equipment that I have. I have two 40 foot uh, triple axle trailers. They're only 40 feet long. I can only haul two cars at a time. So $1.62 per mile does not compare to what I can do with the same amount of space on the same trailer in regards to freight. Any car, generally speaking, any mid-sized sedan is gonna take up 16 feet of deck space. 16 times two is 32. So two vehicles are gonna take up 32 feet of deck space on my trailer. Would you stop it? I can't believe you guys don't want these puppies. This is the cutest puppy, look at her. Look at this. Say hi, YouTube. I wanted to offer them to you guys first, but you know, I don't know, nobody is interested. <laughs> Three little baby girls. If you guys are interested, send me a comment before they go on Craigslist. They're six weeks old. They're ready to go. They're chewing on everything. I love you, too. I love you, too. Okay. That's it. Puppy breath. Two sedans is going to take up 32 feet of deck space on my 40-foot trailer. The money that I can generate off of 32 feet of deck space in regards to freight is much higher than the money that I can generate with two vehicles on my trailer. That's just how it goes. That's the type of equipment that I have. Yes, it is versatile, meaning I can haul freight, cars, equipment, whatever. I can haul all kinds of stuff and you guys have seen me, you know, over the last couple of years hauling all kinds of stuff on my trailer. I like the versatility. I like the flexibility, but when it comes to cars only, I do not suggest a trailer like the one that I have. It does not make sense. In my humble opinion, if you guys want to go after cars only, my best suggestion to you would be to get equipment that is going to allow you to haul at least three cars at a time, three minimum. Because with two, with the numbers that I'm showing you right now, with two, you're gonna be under $2 a mile. There's just not enough revenue left over for you to pay yourself after you've paid all of the bills. There is, but it's not as good as it could be if you were hauling three or four or five. So my best suggestion to you would be to haul, to get at least a three car wedge, if not a four car wedge or a four car double decker or a five car mini or haul enclosed. Consider that the type of person and the type of car or vehicle that you're going to get if you haul enclosed is like day and night.
to the type of vehicle and the type of customer you're going to get hauling open deck. I have a few direct customers that like to haul that like me to haul their cars. They would probably prefer me to have an enclosed trailer for some of the cars that I put on my trailer for them. However, they like my service so they stick with me and they run them open deck. Works for me, it works for them. But consider this. When it comes to cars, most of the time or some of the time, I'm picking up cars from auctions. Busted up cars that are going from the auction to a small time dealership who's gonna fix them up and resell them. Obviously, they don't want to transport at a higher cost than they need to. So they're looking for a car hauler who is going to haul them at the cheapest possible price that they can get. Because then that means that there's more profit for them in the long run. The less they have to spend to get it moved from point A to point B, the more money, the more potential revenue it is in their pocket when the deal is done and the car is sold and fixed and sold. So, open deck clientele as opposed to enclosed car hauler clientele is a lot different. A lot of times people who ship their cars enclosed, it's because they care very much about their car or their car is very expensive and they don't want anybody to see it going down the road. They don't want any rocks or any debris to get on it. They want it clean and taken care of as it's in transit. So the quality and the type of customer that you would find between open deck car hauling and enclosed car hauling is like day and night. You guys know me. I love tips, right? If you take care of a customer's car, somebody's baby that you just hauled in your enclosed trailer, if you take care of their car, probably you're gonna get a tip because this is still a service industry and you're working with private parties. Private parties, we're like waiters or any other type of service industry to them. And if they appreciate your service and your communication and what you did for them, then they're probably more willing to tip you than the small mom and pop dealership that is just looking to flip a car that you hauled for them. Not only that, if you do haul enclosed, you only have to haul three as opposed to five open deck. If you save time, not having to pick up an extra two cars to generate the same amount of revenue, then you've saved time and you've also saved energy and effort which is saving you money. The faster you can get unloaded, the faster you can get reloaded, the better it is for you as a transporter. So, in my humble opinion, if you're only gonna haul two cars at a time, it doesn't pay. In my humble opinion, if I was only gonna haul cars, I would probably do it enclosed. And that's just how I feel about it. Everybody's different, everybody has an opinion, that's mine and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and hopefully it brought some uh, information to you, some things that maybe you hadn't thought about. Yes, cars are easy, but if you're gonna go after cars only, really consider the type of equipment that you're gonna use and make sure that it's gonna maximize the potential, the revenue potential, and obviously maximize it so that it's in your favor. Hope you guys are all well. I'll talk to you soon.